Hi, hello, welcome to VHL Basics. Today we are going to see about synchronizer in VLSI design. A synchronizer refers to a circuit or a technique used to safely transfer data signals from one clock domain to another. The clock domains are regions of a digital system that operates on different clocks or have different timing requirements. When transferring data between clock domains, it is crucial to ensure that data is captured reliably and correctly in the receiving domain. Considering the potential timing difference between the two clocks, the synchronization is necessary to prevent issues such as metastability where the output of flip-flops becomes indeterminate due to timing violations. The synchronizer purpose is to observe any potential metastability and provide a reliable synchronized version of data for the receiving clock domain. However, it is important to note that even with synchronizer, there is still a small probability of metastability, though greatly reduced. Therefore, properly Proper design and analyze techniques are necessary to ensure correct synchronization and minimize the probability of metastability related failures in the practical system. Now we are going to discuss about types of synchronization. There are six synchronizer most commonly used in VLSA design two flip-flop synchronizer, gray code synchronizer, metastability filtered synchronizer, FIFO synchronizer, ANSEC synchronizer, and a pulse synchronizer. Two flip-flop synchronizer uses two flip-flops to capture and synchronize an asynchronous signals to a clock domain. It offers improved metastability handling compared to the single flip-flop synchronizer. Gray code synchronizer is designed to reduce the probability of metastability and minimize the glitch propagation. It uses multiple flip flops and a gray code convert counter to synchronize the asynchronous signal. Metastability filtered synchronizer. This type of synchronizer employs multiple flip flops along with metastability filter to reduce the probability of metastability and filter out any metastability output. It typically uses additional circuitry to detect and mitigate metastability. FIFO based synchronizer. First in first out, synchronizer utilizes a FIFO buffer to transfer asynchronous data to synchronous domain. It offers synchronization with flow control and can handle multiple asynchronous inputs. ANSYNC synchronizer uses ANSYNC protocol such as request acknowledge signaling to safely transfer data between asynchronous and synchronous domain. It ensures proper synchronization and flow control. Pulse synchronizer. A pulse synchronizer is used when asynchronous signal is a short duration pulse or event. It typically uses one or more flip-flop along with appropriate timing consideration to capture and synchronize the pulse. These are the types of synchronizer most commonly used in VLC domain. Each type of synchronizer has its own advantages and trade-offs in terms of metastability handling, latency, power consumption, and implementation complexity. The choice of synchronizer depends on the specific requirement and constraint of the design, such as frequency and characteristics of the asynchronous signal. The desired level of metastability protection and the available area and power budgets. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you will get overall idea of synchronizer in this video. Please like, share with your friends and subscribe this channel for more videos.